everyone, EB Babers here, back with another video, and today I have an unboxing. So as you can see, there's a really huge package here, like it's actually really big. And I ordered two things that are both pretty big, so it could be both of them, it could be one of them. I have no idea what it is, you already know, because of the thumbnail and the title. But uh, we're going to open it, so uh, we're going to see what we got. So I'm very excited. I think it'll only be one thing, but... You never know. I already opened it partially because I didn't want to leave you waiting. Oh, I can see what it is. You're going to be happy. I got. GT customized set. So there you have it. Oh. As you can see before the tripod fell, I got the GT customized set. So that's really awesome. Uh, it's car told me. Here we have it. I'm so excited because it's an amazing set. Uh, one of the best sets that they've ever released. Uh, <laughs> that's bad. I shouldn't drop it. So we got Regalia Genesis, Prime Apocalypse, Erase Fafnir, and Cosmo Dragon. So there's a lot to go over in this set, so I'm going to be quick with the box. So we have Regalia Genesis with the hybrid driver, which is an electric driver. It's owned by Gwyn, or Gwyn. Then we have Prime Apocalypse Zero Dagger Ultimate Reboot, or Ultimate Reboot Dash. And it's owned by Arthur. Uh, and then we have Cosmo Dragon with the Retsu Weight Vanguard Revolve. Uh, and then Erase Fafnir with the 10 Armor Sting Trick. So, there's a lot of things to go over, so let's get it open. Uh, we're gonna see, did I get the gold turbo? I'm kinda hoping I didn't, because I spent a lot on this. Uh, I spent 80 Canadian. Which actually, it's not terrible, but I, for the set, it's pretty cheap, considering I was expecting it to be, most of the other ones were way more. I got it on eBay. Uh, oh, I might open it from the wrong side, sorry about that. That one person knows who they are. Okay. Let's get it out. I don't want to rip the box anymore. Okay, we got it. One second. Oh. Okay, got it out. And the stickers in here. Okay, this should be in the box. So here we have the base, and we got the normal version. So that is good. I'll be back in a minute. So here we have our Blade Blaze. Uh, we're, I'm probably going to cut to when they're all open because this is a really big set and I have a lot to go over, so I'll cut to when the first bay is open. But yeah, before we get to the first bay, there is the instructions and the stickers, so here we have the little stickers. Uh, there's not too many and they don't look too bad. Uh, there's stickers for the hybrid driver as well. And then over here we have the tool for to switch off the hybrid driver, so that's cool. Uh, we don't need to look at these right now. I don't think there's a manual on there like that shows the next release, which doesn't matter. It's old anyway. So, anyways, next first bay. Here we have the first bay from the set. Uh, it looks pretty good. This is Cosmo Dragon. So we start with the driver. Uh, it has the Revolve driver, which is <laughs> surprisingly this is my first car to Revolve, which I know sounds crazy considering Revolve is repeated so much. This is actually only my first one. So it's pretty cool. It's a nice blue color. Uh, overall, just okay. It's not a great stamina driver. Uh, it, it used to be pretty good when it first came out, but nowadays, uh, in 2022, not very useful. And even when the set came out, it wasn't very good uh, anymore. Then we have the Vanguard disc. Uh, this disc it has one star. Um, it has purple plastic. Normally. The original version came with red plastic, and this originally came on Venom Diabolos. And I believe this was pretty good on bearing, stuff like that when it came out. Uh, not a bad disc, it has decent weight. And then finally we have the Lair, this is uh, Cosmo Dragon. So, we'll open it up. Um, so, I'll start with the Dragon chip, the Dragon GT chip. Uh, the gold on it looks nice, but, and the blue looks pretty cool. But it's just an okay jump. Um, 
Dragon 2 is better, the one that came on Imperial Dragon. Uh, what, what makes this different from the original Dragon from Ace Dragon is that instead of clear plastic on the back, it has blue plastic, but it's the same paint job. Uh, then we have the Retsu weight, which I already have, uh, but it's nice to get another one, I guess. And it's two stars, not bad. And over here we have the Cosmo Layer Base, this is my first one from Takar Uh It's a pretty decent base, it's basically just round, basically just a circle, that's it. Uh, looks, reminds me of Air Knight, uh, once in this color scheme. But uh, anyways, we'll put the together. Um, Retsu weight doesn't go well on a salmon type. Uh, I don't know if this, this is probably the second mold of Cosmo. I don't know. Because if you don't know, the original version uh, isn't very good. But uh, yeah, it's, it looks nice enough. It's kind of just a filler bay, but I like it. So let's move on to the next one. The next bay in the set, we have a race Fafnir. So this one. This one's pretty good. It's, again, it's just a filler one, but we'll start off with the driver. Uh, here we have the Trick Driver. So, the Trick Driver, uh, it's in this nice red color. Uh, red's my favorite color, so it's nice having a red Trick. But, uh, it would go well with the Red Judgment uh, from Judgment Pegasus. But, the thing is, that it's not a very good uh, driver. Basically, its gimmick is that it starts off as a sharp tip for stamina, and then as it's spinning, this free spinning plate changes and it reveals these like little tall pieces of plastic. Uh, I don't like this driver, it's kind of garbage, but a uh, nice color. Then we have the Sting Disc, which I do like. Um, I don't have Sting, so it's nice to have, to have it finally, and it's in a, a nice red color. It's nice because red's my favorite color. Um, yeah, I do like it. It has good weight distribution. It's pretty heavy, and it has three stars. Not bad. Uh, yeah, I really like it. And then finally, the layer. Wow, it's light. So, here we have a race Fafnir, and, oh, it's a tight lock. I don't know why they made it so tight, but anyway, yeah, mine was very tight. Uh, here we have the race layer base. This layer base is garbage. Uh, basically, there's five five blades that are pointing upwards. Not very good. Uh, no, I don't like it. Nice color scheme, and I bet it would look really good on uh, the red Venom Diabolos or the red Diabolos chip from Union Diabolos. It would look very good on it. But uh, yeah, just so meh. And then 10 layer weight, I didn't have this yet. So I'll probably switch out Retsu and 10, just because it makes sense. And nice, it's four stars, and I didn't have this weight, so cool. And then here we have the Fafnir uh, GT chip. This originally came on Wizard Fafnir, which people hate Wizard Fafnir, but the chip on it actually has pretty good teeth. Uh, I believe it's like the last spin ver it's the last spin version of the Dragon chip. So it go well on Lord. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this combo. It's just okay in my opinion. Uh, the highlights from it are just the colors really. I like the sing disc. Um, in terms of the the lock, it's pretty tight. So yeah, that's it for a race Fafnir. Pretty beefy. And there's these two side to side. So. Uh, I do like them, but now we're gonna move on to the real base of the set. Here we have an amazing bay from the set. So this one was my favorite one from the set, and like, like the main one I wanted. So this is Prime Apocalypse, Zero Dagger, Ultimate Reboot Dash. So I went with this one before Regular Genesis because I find it's probably more simpler uh, to explain. But uh, we'll start off with the driver. Uh, here we have Ultimate Reboot Dash. So it's the same as the normal Ultimate Reboot, which I have right here. I have a normal Ultimate Reboot. Um, with this one, it was the thing is it had mold issues, like I think it breaks easily or something like that, and the rubber is kind of hard. With this one, okay, the rubber 
Mm, I don't know if it's softer. It might be slightly softer, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's the same tip. This one looks more, like the tip looks more flat on the Twin Nemesis Ultimate Reboot. Uh, you can see it kind of has the, what's it called? Excess plastic. But on the Prime Apocalypse Ultimate Reboot, it's like very smooth. So yeah, Ultimate Reboot Dash, uh, very fun part. Can't wait to test it out because the normal one bursts a lot. So yeah, really fun part to have. I really like Ultimate Reboot and it's a nice black and red color scheme. Uh, then we have the disc and frame. Uh, sorry about the lighting, if it looks weird or anything. Uh, I know I haven't said anything about it, but here we have the disc, this is Zero Dagger. And uh, Zero Disc. Nice! Four stars! So that's amazing. Uh, I know the disc looks fake on camera. I don't know why the lighting is weird, but uh, it is real. You saw the box, the car told me. But uh, yeah, very good disc. It's kind of common now, but it was very good. It originated on Spring Requiem. And then we have a red dagger frame, which I really like dagger. Uh, I have the gold version. So nice to have a red one because I really like dagger. So overall, it's very good uh, disc and frame combination. And along with Ultima Reboot Dash, it'll be very good for attacks. And then finally, the more complicated part, uh, now we have Prime Apocalypse. So this is Prime Apocalypse. It, for its design, it basically looks like a sword down the middle, kind of like Excalibur. But uh, it has these two metal parts here and the layer doesn't come apart actually, so you can't separate it into three parts, it's just with one piece. But if you get Big Bang Genesis, you can take the armor and put it onto here to make it Big Bang Apocalypse. But uh, as you can see, there's red in the center. Uh, yeah, there's red in the center right now. And what that means is that it's able to burst. So on the back, there's two metal weights here, more metal there. But as you can see, it has no teeth, so it's all slopes. And basically, I haven't put it together yet. But uh, so this is my first time with the infinite lock. But uh, let me see. Uh, I need to figure it out. Okay, so I got it together, and I think I figured it out. So just, just took me a minute there because I'm not familiar with the infinite lock. So as you can see, it looks very nice. But. Uh, what you have to do, so as you can see, once it's together, it spins forever. So, as you can see, it's not bursting at all. So, even if you twist it that way, no burst. And the way to actually burst it is you have to twist it until the center turns red. And then you have to push into here. And then it should burst. So, I hope the frame came off. But. As you can see, the red, the center has to be red. Um, there we go. So when you do that, once it gets to the red, you have to twist it. So again, I'll show. Uh, let's see. Uh, as you can see, the driver lines up there, so the disc prongs are gonna have to be at the top. And there we go. You'll hear, hear, hear a click. And then, boom. So again, one more time. Boom, now it's apart. So now hopefully you get it. It's a little hard to explain on camera, but now, now I understand it. So this is Prime Apocalypse Zero Dagger Ultimate Reboot Dash. Uh, I really like it, it looks really nice. And it's a really, <laughs> it's really a beast. So it's a very sick bay, I really like it and I'm glad I finally have it in my collection. So now let's move on to Regalia Genesis, which is the final bay in the set. So here we have Regalia Genesis, which is the final bay in the set. So um, here we have the tool. Um, this doesn't matter, really. We can do it without the tool, but just nice to have. It says Beyblade on it. Yeah, it's very nice looking. But uh, here we have the bay itself. I'll go over the layer first, because I feel like the driver is probably more tricky to go over. So here we have the layer, it's basically exactly the same as Prime Apocalypse, the same mechanism, but this time it's a defense type. 
And again, it's an oval, and it's, as you can tell, it's more rounder, meant to be a defense type. Uh, it looks really nice, and same metal placement. And instead of having one area where it needs to be pushed in to burst, it has two. So you can say that it could make it burst easier, but the thing is it has the hybrid driver, which will help it. So then we have the hybrid driver. Uh, it's my first time looking at it, so it looks very nice. It has pretty nice looking tip there, nice and smooth. And this is really good for life after death. Uh, a similar one came on, I believe it was Imperial Dragon. Yeah, Imperial Dragon. So I believe you can make it spin either left or right, but you probably want it spinning right. Um, at least on the space since it's the right spin. But now we're gonna turn it on. So I believe it's this. Hopefully you can hear that. You can hear the motor going and you can see it's flashing. So it's motorized, it takes batteries, but you can replace the batteries if they die. But you know it'll be on because you hear the motor and you'll see that the light's there. So turn it off. And you don't even need the tool really, but again, you hear the motor. So now we're gonna put it on Regalia Genesis to take a look at it. So uh, let's see. Probably, there we go. So now I'm getting used to the fill lock. So as you can see, very nice. And when you turn it on, you can see the lights uh, coming through it. Nice. So it's supposed to basically spin forever, as they say. So it spins for a long time. So that is it for the unboxing. Uh, I'll, actually, I'll do a test launch of each one and then battles will be in a separate video. So let's get into it. So what's actually hilarious is that I wanted to battle so bad that I forgot about stickers. So here we have the bays. I put the stickers on them. And to be honest, if you don't like stickers, you probably didn't, don't need to put them on. Uh, we'll start with this one. The stickers just there and there. Uh, both sides, you can barely even see them. Yeah, to be honest, I can be look worse on it, so it doesn't matter anyway, you can't even see them. Uh, then we have this one. Actually, I like the black stickers on this. I feel like it adds to it. Yeah, it's not bad. Then, Regular Genesis actually had no stickers on the layer, but on the driver, there's the side stickers. So these yellow ones that you can put on hybrid. And then for Prime Apocalypse, uh, the stickers there. Just on the sword. So only three stickers on that way. That one. So now we're gonna test all these, do a test spin on them. So that's gonna be really fun. Uh, I have my CD in here. And we're gonna give each of them uh, a test launch. So we'll start off with the boring ones. Uh, we'll do Cosmo Dragon. See a bit. Not bad. Then a race back here. Oh. First drop. Now it's just less than right. Yeah. So this one has a turn driver, so it should be going crazy. Then a little bit of stamina. As you can see now, it's in stamina. So, uh, pretty cool driver, but not that good. Then we have Prime Apocalypse. So that's gonna be fun. Three, two, one, go shoot. So, we'll take a reboot. There we go. Not bad. And then the final bay, this is probably the most exciting dust launch. We have Regalia Genesis, so I'll turn on the hybrid driver. So let's get spinning. Three, two, one, go shoot. There we go. Going crazy. You can see the light. Very nice. So let's see stop real quick. I 
see this spinning the last part. <laughs> and then it just goes right back to the center. It's actually really cool. And then Life After Death is amazing. Pretty good. So yeah, that was my unboxing. Uh, sorry it took a while. Um, but I really like this set. I definitely feel like I got my money. Uh, like I got my... What's the word? Like it was worth the money I spent on it. So I really like it. I uh, hope you guys do too. What's your favorite bait from the set? And tell me some, some battles you want to see. And anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.